Hi guys, Billy back and this time we're gonna be looking at the Fire Toys 1-6 scale John Wick figure. Now this is supposedly a clone of the Hot Toys version. So we're gonna have a look at this and see exactly what it's like. I did get their Scarlet Witch that they made from Civil War and it wasn't too bad a figure. There was a few niggling little problems here and there, but nothing too outrageous. So we're going to take a look at this guy and see exactly what we get. Now this is the packaging and the front of the box is actually pretty nice. You've got this really nice artwork of John Wick in the corner here and he's just been surrounded by swarms of bad guys and it looks pretty awesome if I'm honest. That's really nice artwork. It's probably not theirs. They probably nicked it from somewhere but you know that's just the way of these sorts of clones. Then on the side we've got the artwork spreading around here with just the Fire Toys logo. And on the back we've got some more artwork, again I'm pretty sure it's probably not theirs, of John Wick on the back. It says here every action has consequences. Anyway, let's just open up the box, see if we can get the old uh, iPhone advert going. See if we can slide out, oh we can, it's sliding out. Come on. Nice and slow, pop. And then we take this top layer of foam off and inside we can see we've got the guns that he comes with, we've got that blood pack thing there. Uh, maybe some coins, I think, a knife just down here, and some extra hands, but only three. And then if we take off that layer of foam, this is the figure underneath. And I'm already seeing a little bit of a problem. Uh, we'll see what it's like when it comes out of the box, but uh, inside the box, that head looks a little big. Okay, so let's take this guy out and see exactly what he's like. Okay, and here he is, just straight out of the box. I've done no fucks in or anything. And yeah, you can see there is a slight problem with the body they've used. And that problem is that it's way too small. In fact, it brings to mind that scene Mike Myers did in So I Married an Axe Murderer. Look at the size of that boy's head. Shh. I'm not kidding, it's like an orange on a toothpick. Shh, you gotta give the boy a complex. Well, that's a huge noggin. Yeah, that the head is massive because the body they've used is too small. And um, yeah, I have a funny feeling that the suit has been tailor fitted to that body. It looks pretty tight on him, which is gonna be a problem because I saw pictures on Facebook of this guy out of the box and I was straight away like, yep, he definitely needs a body swap. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to get a body swap out of it because of the clothing. Anyway, let's just have a quick butchers at the head sculpt before we do anything else. This is obviously a recast of the Hot Toys version. It looks okay, there is a slight, in certain angles it looks like the eye is wonky, but it's actually not. I don't know what that is, but the paint application is okay. There's lots of uh, paint flecking inside the uh, head sculpt. They've got nice skin texture going on. The blood is uh, a little bit shiny and translucent. The hair sculpt is reasonably okay. I think there was a bit of shrinkage from the recast. You can see there's a bit of fraying in that collar there, which isn't great. That is a shame. Not really bothered about the trousers because these can always be moved down a little bit to fit the uh, longer legs. But it's just these arms here on this jacket that could cause us the problem. Accessory wise, he comes with quite a few. He comes with this uh, pump action shotgun that looks very similar to the original one from Hot Toys. Even has a pump action mechanism there. This doesn't move forward and back. It's got the transfers on there. It's got the little shotgun shell on there. It looks pretty good actually, if I'm being totally honest, it's not too bad at all. I'm not sure if um, the original had weathering on, I can look in a minute because I've actually got a set of the Hot Toys guns, so we'll compare them in a little while. But yeah, as far as I can see, the shotgun is uh, looking pretty good. He also comes with a pistol, comes with the cartridge down here. See the bullet inside, it's the extended version. And this does move back, but it's very stiff. Ah like that but it's got all the transfers on there so yeah that doesn't look too bad if i'm honest it's a reasonably good gun for a, a third party figure he also comes with this little knife that is kind of similar to the one the hot toys one came with although the, i think the blade is much shorter so i have a funny feeling this comes from another figure it doesn't look too bad it's uh, functional the silver paint looks a little bit cheap but nothing too bad and it does have the clothes function on there so Pretty good. He also comes with the blood pack medallion. Don't know if this opens. <laughs> nope, doesn't open. It's just a simple uh, possibly recast of it closed. So yeah, that's just the uh, 
the uh, blood packed thing, but you can't open it, you can't look inside or anything. So uh, yeah, looks okay. It's reasonably weathered and everything. Details are a little mer, look a bit soft, but uh, it'll do the job if you need him to hold it for anything. And he also comes with some gold coins. And these are very small, nice detail in there. You can't really make out any of the details. It just looks like blobs, just like lumpy blobs on the coin itself. So yeah, but you know, it, it looks like a coin. It's functional, does the job. And he also comes with some relaxed hands. You can see he's got the ring on his finger there. The hands are functional, but they're a little bit, they are a little bit hard. So I think they need warming up before you put them on the wrist pegs. He also comes with a gripping hand, again with the uh, wedding ring on the left hand. And on the right, there are no rings, so it's just like a gun holding hand. Details are okay, look a little soft. I think these are recast from the original. And he's got two more relaxed hands there. Okay, and just moving the head around, it's just popped off the neck here. You can see that the port is still stuck in there and it can move around. But um, I have a funny feeling that this was supposed to be glued, this ring here, rubbery ring is supposed to be glued into the neck here, but it's just sort of popped out and it's sort of lost its use. So I might need to re-glue that and fix it. Tailoring wise, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm not really gonna complain about the tailoring too much. It's very functional. It looks like a reasonably good 1-6 scale suit. It's got the little buttons on the back of the sleeve of the jacket there. The buttons on the waistcoat look suitably small enough. It's got these little pockets stitched in there to make them look like real pockets. The slight shine on the suit does make it look a little bit cheaper than maybe the Hot Toys version. It's got a nice pleat down the front of the leg there. Again, nice clean seams down the leg and a clean seam down the back of the jacket there. Yeah, my only criticism is that frayed bit up the top of the collar there. But the rest of it looks okay. The tie needs a bit of futz in to move around and get it all fixed into place. But uh, yeah, that's that's really it for this figure. Um, it is a 1-6 scale body, so the articulation isn't too bad. It can go up to about there. There is bicep swivel. There's a double bend in the arm, so you can get them all the way up. There's a wrist peg that spins all the way around and can go up and down on a hinge. Arms can go forward to about there. There is a butterfly joint. The torso is more restricted because of the uh, suit here, but it can go forward about that much, go back about that much, and can turn pretty well. The legs can go out about that far, can go up about that much. There is a thigh swivel. There is a double bend in the knees, and the feet are on an ankle joint, and they can turn pretty well. Okay, let's try and swap this body over, and when you get the jacket off, you can see that the waistcoat does have a uh, Velcro strip on the front there, so that's easy to take off. And the shirt is on a couple of snap fasteners just here, so we'll undo that. You can lift the collar up and just take this tie off. And there is a pleather belt there. You can just undo it like a normal belt. And the trouser zip is just Velcroed on. This is interesting though, the shoes are, um, they seem to have extenders on here, like this. And I don't know if you can take these off. We'll have to warm this up and see if we can pop off these uh, extenders because um, the body we're going to use, you probably won't need them. Okay, this is the body it comes with. It's a CGL Toys body with uh, some padding in the waist. I mean, it's really slim. I've even used the uh, thigh extenders to try and thicken him out a little bit. But that's surprising. I was going to swap it with the World Box 025 body, but um, I don't know really. Shoulders are a lot bigger, so this could be a bit tougher to get, but side by side, that's why we don't need the feet extenders, because we can use this uh, slim world box body and its legs are, you know, long enough. So let's see what we can get out of this. Okay, so it's a little bit fiddly to get the trousers up over the legs, but you can get them up if you're careful. And uh, stop looking at John Wick's wick perverts okay yeah this might not work mostly because the uh god damn it mostly because this neck port is just yeah not only has he got a massive head he's got a really long neck on this body as well uh that's going to need modifying if i'm going to keep it 
but uh, so far it's not too bad. I can uh, bring this up and then bring the sleeves down and the sleeves kind of are okay, but he is lacking some traps and the sleeves are kind of okay on here, but obviously with the suit jacket on it might be a bit more difficult. Hmm, we'll see. And something I've just noticed while putting, uh, sorting out the head, we can see there's actually some dye rubbing off on the back of the neck already, which is a bad sign. It means they haven't treated any of the clothing and the dyes are all sitting in there waiting to stain the neck. Great. Okay, just testing out the uh, Susu Toys head sculpt. It seems to work a little better on this body, which is a relief because I was going to use the Susu Toys head sculpt anyway, because it was just sitting in a box. But uh, yeah, it's interesting that this is just got a really long neck. Probably could cut it down. That might work. Okay, and now we're just gonna slip the uh, little socks on that his mum bought him for Christmas. Even though he asked for a PlayStation fucking 5. But it's okay, it's okay. Socks are just as good. Very thoughtful. Mum. Well, that was a whole load of fun, not. Um, basically what I did was I swapped the head out for the Susu Toys head sculpt, and I swapped the body out for a World Box uh, 8025 body and honestly uh, I can't actually recommend this figure mostly because the body it comes with is too small for their head the suit has been sort of stitched and made around that body which makes it really difficult to recommend because when you do a body swap the suit does in actual fact ride up and you can see it's riding up on these uh, wrists here and exposing that separate color to the hands which is never fun to be honest honestly if you're thinking about picking this guy up uh you're probably better off actually just picking up a separate head sculpt a separate body and a separate suit and kit bashing your own because honestly the the only reason you would buy the fire toys version is because you can't be bothered to kit bash one yourself but honestly they've done a worse job than you would yourself so sadly i can't recommend this one Okay, just to finish off, I'm just gonna compare the Hot Toys guns with these Fire Toy guns. Okay, we can see the top one is the Hot Toys version and the bottom one is the Fire Toys version. And you can see that the Hot Toys one has a bit more of a sort of gun metal gray, sort of matte look to it. Whereas the uh, bottom one is just sort of like a black plastic. It's got a bit more shine to it. The uh, transfers are both pretty similar to be honest, although they look a little bit cleaner on the Hot Toys version as does the shell on the side of the gun. And then this bit here moves forward and back quite smoothly, whereas on this one, it is very tough to move forward and back. But overall, you wouldn't be able to tell that if you weren't actually looking at them next to each other. So yeah, this isn't a bad shout really. Okay, and here is the Hot Toys handgun, and here is the Fire Toys handgun. And again, the same thing, it's got a bit more of a gunmetal gray to it. And you can see that this kick slide slides back a bit easier on the Hot Toys one, whereas it is a bit tougher to slide back on this one. The cartridges slide out on both, and they both look reasonably good, and don't, neither of them really get stuck. Again, not a bad recreation. They both look pretty good. And the only thing that's different is the knife, because you can see the top one is the Hot Toys one, and the bottom one is the, the uh, Fire Toys one, and the top one is non-retractable, got a silver clip on the back there whereas the fire toys one is retractable and it's just got a plain black clip and it's a lot smaller so i think they've repurposed this from maybe the joker or something like that because it's not actually from the hot toys uh set and sadly the uh fire toys one doesn't come with a pencil which is a shame okay guys my recommendation is kit bash your own leave the fire toys one alone well, that was offside, wasn't it? <laughs> He'll be crying himself to sleep tonight on his huge pillow. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you do me a favour now. If you can get the fuck out of my cave. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. We'll see. Maybe I can get another jacket somewhere else and salvage him. But again, it's going to cost more money. More for me. Bye-bye, guys.